Hey, what's good guys and girls? My name is Moose from Jigun with Moose and welcome back to another Fishing Planet video. Today we are over here on Lone Star Lake. I'm going to be showing all the beginners on how to cast further in Fishing Planet. I'm sure this is like the one thing you need, you want to know all the time because it's going to help you catch uh, more fish with like beginner rods. Anyways, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and yeah, let's get into the video. So in my hand, I have the telescopic rod. This is the rod that you start off with. It's basically a four pound rod, but I don't have a four pound setup, but yeah, it's a four pound rod. So as you would know that you start off with these kind of bobbers. Uh, I think it's this one anyways. So yeah, with this rod, you basically start off like this and they tell you to cast right in front of you like to catch bluegill and stuff etc but there's another way to cast further with this rod all you have to do is depending on what platform you're playing on i'm not sure but on console you just hold the right analog stick in and as you can see it changed the position of the rod so yeah you can basically cast all the way not all the way but just close to the middle with this ball but watch as you can see where the marker is right now this is where it is stopping but watch as you change the size of the bobble this is what happens and if i put a even bigger one let's see what happens You can see you can cast much further in so yeah basically with these telescopic rods you just have to increase the size of the bobber basically most float rods this is what you have to do but there are two key uh, differences that i need to explain to you guys is with the line mono line is much thicker line so it doesn't allow you to cast so far and braided line is much thinner which allows you to cast much further but all these rods I have mono line on except the one bass rod which I'm going to be showing just now. I have braided line on it. But for, for a beginner you don't have to really worry about that right now because you're going to be using mono line for a quite a long time. Braided line you only have to worry about as you get to higher levels. But yeah that are the two differences in lines. Anyways for the bottom sniper this is how you cast further. These rods are meant to be cast um, very far. It's not really hard to get them to cast far but all you have to do is just equip a heavy sinker and that's it yeah you can cast super super far as you can see lone star lake is quite small for these rods but uh, yeah you can cast super far with them and now we are going to be going over to the bass rod this is pretty simple to to use and yeah to set up by yourself so if you are using a super light lure by the way, I have braided line on here, so it's going to go quite far because I have braided line on and it's super thin. But uh, yeah, anyways, if you're using like uh, a feather light setup for trout and stuff like that, then you can use super, super light lures. Anyways, as you can see, it only went 115 feet with a super light lure. And all you have to do is with a bass rod is just increase the weight of the lure and you will see how fast you can, how far you can cast. So I'm going to be putting a heavier lure on here and just watch how much further I can cast out almost right to the end of the lake. So yeah, in all conclusion, what I am trying to say is that if you want to cast further as a beginner, you just have to make sure that you have the correct bobber size. Uh, and yeah, the size of the bait does matter. But as I say, for beginners, you don't have to worry because you aren't going to be using uh shiners and large minnows and stuff like it so yeah basically you just have to focus on um you just have to focus on the bobber size and yeah you will be good to go and yeah this is another float rod that i have that i have it is called the brutus this one i have the most heaviest bobber in my inventory and yeah as you can see it also casts far out so yeah basically that's it guys if this helped you out please let me know down in the comments below please feel free to ask any more questions and yeah like i say don't worry about the other types of lines just use mono for now as a beginner and you will be good to go don't forget with the telescopic rod press the right analog stick in and yeah you'll be able to cast more further anyways that's it for me guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace